Yakuza Infinite Wealth. Um, last time we did a bunch of things, and by a bunch of things, I mean we did... Oh, sorry. Let me wave high. There we go. We did, um, the dungeon, we did some links, we did this and that. Um, heads up, I just did, and yeah, I have a, I have a little bit of money. I just did all the tests in there. I'm not sure if a side quest is going to start or not this time, but I did all of them. Welcome. Wasn't as pricey as the last game, but Have I did you decided all on which exam you'll be taking? Please come Because that would not be fun to watch me do. No, no, no. Hey, what? What do you guys want? So, okay, so we're going to head over the story. All right. I just have to get over there. Time to go all out. Present for you. Okay, that was easy. Thanks. Um, yeah, we're gonna go here now and start with the story because we gotta remember we were asked to help them, and then I did everything but do that, but now let's act like I'm actually in a hurry and that he needs my help and I'm definitely there. Hello, huh? Alright, let's do this. Alright. Let's head inside. I think we're ready. Open this goddamn door! You got five seconds before we break it down! What the hell? Aren't those Yamai's people? This is crazy! Boss, Kasuga's here. Good. Show him my face. Hey, incoming. That guy doesn't look like he's Yakuza, does he? Jew! Aloha, Ichiban Kasuga. Right. It's machete. You behind this crap? Buddy, I'm just a messenger. Which reminds me, my business partner would like a quick word. Oh, you just never give up, Kasuga-san. Hey, John. Didn't I tell you? Stop calling me that. Hey, John. You were in Bleach Japan, weren't you? And a reporter before that. The Arakawa family set you up, though, right? So? All of this, is it all payback against the Yakuza for wrecking your life? <laughs> what if it is? Yeah, worth the girl's life, I guess. Whatever. If it is, why endanger Akane-san and Lani for your revenge? They've done nothing to you. You want to get even? Why don't you take me alone? Huh? I'm an Arakawa family member. I'm why Bleach Japan went under. Ichan, if there's anyone in the world who still deserves your hatred, it's me. What do you want? You could torture me, skin me, kill me! Where are you? Oh, come running! Hey, Ichiban, think this through, would ya? <sighs> Oh, how quintessentially you, Kasuga-san. Really now? Why would I ever trust you? A Yakuza with his back to the wall would say anything. <clears throat> Besides, Lonnie's a more important capture than you'd ever be. I want every Yakuza to suffer, not just one. Ebina-san can make that happen once he has the girl. Heiji, listen, it's me! What are you trying to do? No. I'm not interested in your questions. Don't you have more pressing matters to attend to? I think this entire thing is a distraction so they can move Lani. Little old Okane is going to need your help very soon. Yamai's territory is up for grabs, you see. Dwight's offered it to whoever snatches her first. Naturally, Polykana supports his decision. The hell? This is a white caron. Gang or police? Balikana signing the check. Any guppy yakuza who wants to survive in this pond better swear up to the kauna. And words out. 
Yamai and the old woman are the price to buy in. To be frank, Lonnie is all that we really needed. Old Akane is of no practical use to me. Save for one precious thing. Her being your mother, Kasuga-san. You want me to torture you, you say? What better way than this? Now go! Find the boss and the old woman! Your deaths will be streamed worldwide. This is our last Ohio, Kasuga-san. We'll see about that. Nobody's dying here tonight, and you and I are far from done. Let's do this! You're only gonna piss him off. If you piss him off, he will kill you. You're going down. All right. Got you now. I can do this. Be right with you. Let's get it done. I'm up. Beautiful. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yeah, you're dead. Time to go Another one in the back. Look at me go. Hey, I'm even stronger. All right, that's done. That was quick. Nicely done, Kasuga-san. Oh, but I'm afraid there's no time to rest. Oh, man. We're gonna be here all day at this rate. Chitose's right, Kasuga. We should pull back for now. Damn it! Let's try that building! I think we lost them. Uh, uh, not quite. I knew you'd run in here eventually. That's Aichan again. Where the hell is he? Are there cameras here or something? Oh, indeed there are. I'm watching every move you make. Now then, try your best to stay afloat. They're over here! Little game of runaround for you, eh, Kasuga-san? This guy is already driving me nuts. Time to shoot him. Come on! Plan, but that worked. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, is it going? <laughs> All right. I'm up. Looks like I'm up. Uh -oh. Is it go time? Wait, wait. Yeah, grab this. <laughs> All right, he's basically useless now. That's good. Better pick up the base, or more will find us. Where do we go? It's too late to circle back to the entrance. Upstairs. Staying put only drain us. We have to keep moving, even if that's exactly what they expect. It's time. This looks like a construction site. Might be worth Copy checking it. out. To gamble, but I'm in. Same here. Let's head up. All right. We're five levels above the recommended, and our equipment should be all good. Oh, wait, oh, wait, yeah. Mm hmm. On top of that, I have extra money if I need it. 
for summons. level 24 and get my ultimate before we reach top floor or wherever the boss of this location is going to be. Oh man, what the hell is this? Oh, there you are. I was starting to get bored. But because you've made it this far, Kasuga-san, I have a special present just for you. Oh, come on. Who'd have thought we'd be doing this song and dance again? I'm sorry, again? What the <laughs> hell is wrong with you oh, guys? Oh yeah, again. Here they come! Get ready! Yeah, so we've done this before. Except now it's two instead of one. Looks like I'm up. Let's go! Oh yeah! Um, yeah, just excel. Here I come. I think I got stronger. Ready when time to go all out. Um, there's not anything I can really do. <laughs> so, I believe. Nope, can't do that. Prepare yourself. Wanna raise her agility? Oh, my time. Open one. Uh, I'm up. Let's go. We're just buffing right now. That's useless, that's useless. Somersault yeah. leg. Good job, I definitely did not Let's hit that. Alright, defense is looking good now. Fear. Um, Got you now. Let's do it. You're right. Time to go all out. Oh, prepare yourself. Alright. I could high noon it, but that would. How would that? 
How would this work again? I'm not gonna do it. Vanish's fist could be really good. Let's do it. Yeah, nope, that was really good. Where is your... Ah, oh, there it is. Claps and share it. Here I come. For it. Yeah. Gotta do something. About that. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's, Let's finish him before he attacks. Ooh, I got caught. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's raise your attack again. Yeah. Got you now. Nope. Four. Open one. Come on. Deal damage. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, lucky seven. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna use this to bring her back because her damage is more than mine. Alright, I want you not the windmill, not to do that. I could do battery shot. Oh, yeah, that was good. Time to go all out. Damn, just one. Let's get it done. Goodbye. Onto the next one. Look at me go. Who knew I had it? Hey, I'm even stronger. I think I'm getting better at it. Can't believe we pulled through that. Not seeing anywhere else to run though, Kazuga. I say we get a breather, and while we can, more about to show up. In other words, breathe and save. Yeah, mm hmm. Alright, I'm not using you, return to sender, so I shall save there. Are you to continue? Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? We're fully healed. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Better start thinking about our next move quick. Most impressive. Still, I wonder how long you'll last. Hey, this way. Come on. Some guys just can't take a hint. Shit. What the hell do we do now? Ichiban! Over here! Hop on! Oh. Okay. Hey, good idea, Tomi. So we're gonna fight them with this, right? No, I think we're gonna make a bridge. You nuts? A mob that size, they'll flood us in no time. You think I don't know that? Just shut up and let me drive, alright? Wait, you're not... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Here we go! Oh no. I got night guy! Well, we're in the building. Hopefully we didn't kill anyone important. Man, good idea, Tommy, but you probably heard us. Oh, we're separated. 
Uh, Chichon, are you okay? Uh. Uh, how the hell did I get out of that alive? Oh yeah, we're hey. separated. Adachi son, tell me. We're alright. Don't worry about us. What was that noise? What? What happened to the office? <laughs> well, this is awkward. You f kill them. Okay, you asked for it. Oh, there's two different battles happening right now. You call that shit driving? If I still had my badge, your license would be fine. Hey, hey, hey. See there, driver. I got dead, didn't I? Oh, whatever. Let's make this quick. Kasuga's waiting for us. I not this was part of the plan. My nice guy's Well, we're here to help him, right? Maybe he'll look past it. That's some sense of time. You want to do this, man? Let's do this. I'm up. Oh, actually, can I grab that? Good. Come on, finish him. Thank you. That's not good. Well, he's all ever be. Got you now. Time to go all out. You really want to do this? Wait for me to stand up. Thank you. That's what I want. Open wounds here. Gotta hold it together. Break yourself. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Do I have it yet? I do. I let's come. just finish him immediately. Alright, that side's done. You guys get going. Oh, they just immediately meet up with us. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we're fine. Time to take these dumps down. Prepare yourself. I love Hey, Oh, I'm shocked at locked that. I'm gonna just heal myself real quick. You guys can kill him. Ready as I'll ever be. Oh, let's do this. I'm up. Time to go all out. Get scared. Let's finish him. Be right with you. Shit. Open wounds here. Gotta hold well, it together. I'm oh my. Break yourself. Alright. Got you now. We got you, we got you. I can do this. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I should be good for a bit. Booyah! Let's get it done! If I can get her to fear him, that'd be great. Looks like I'm up. Oh, is it go time? Oh, actually, yeah, let's do it. Time to go all out. Oh, is it go time? There we go. Caught it! Let's get that bleeding away. Oh, he's free. Oh, nice. He's fear. Finish him. Alright. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Ooh, 
Okay, yeah, two legendaries. I'm getting too old for this. Glad the gang's all here. Let's roll. All right, I'm just gonna double check, make sure there's nothing. That is definitely a way I wouldn't have guessed we we're getting down. Flying logger. All right, let's go. Everything should basically be the same if I had to guess. Looks like I'm up. Time to go all out. Let's do this. Let's get it done. I'm up. Another one in the back. All right, that was easy. Another safe key, which I got a lot of those. Anything over there? No, just boxes. I swear, if you my die is gonna be sad, because there will be two party members in this game I would love to have, and then they just die. Should I open it? Got it. Protector. Uh, let me see. My armor, life, no, no. Yeah, no one here would be good with Protector. Yep. Okay, let's do this. Gotcha now! I can do this! Essence of guys. Who do I add it in me? Essence of rolling mixer. Can't wait to use those. I right, got revival. I need that. Awfully quiet here. I know what that means. Oh, yeah. Crap, waiting on the next floor. Let's take a. Alright, we'll save over that save because that save is useless. Let's go. Alright, we're back in here. Welcome, Kasuga san. How did he get all these stuff? Hey, oh, you didn't think you'd outwit me, did you? Really, Kasuga san, I know you all too well by now. Every simple little thought. <laughs> Must be easy squawking up in your perch like that. This coming from your mice pet? Say what? Hey, John, throw whatever you want at me. I'll just bash my way through. I'm a simple man after all. And you'll lose your edge sooner or later. And I can't wait. Anyway, I think we've said enough. Best of luck to you. Get ready for this! Let's do it! Looks like I'm up. Alright, I see oh, immediately oh, you. Here I come. <laughs> Let's My magic got increased. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted, but on, I'll look. Oh, wait, Let's actually. Open one! Good. I could. Eh, it's not enough enemies for me to really do that. Oh. Now, if I can align. No. You know, let's just bewitch him. Yeah. Bewitching Haze. Going in! Behold! I can't see shit! I can't see shit! No more games! Uh-oh. I can't see shit! You're dead meat! Damn it. Don't get caught! I'll ever be. Yo! Wait! This is lined up perfectly. You might get hurt! I'm all over it! Uh, 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 
Beautiful. I can do this. I want to finish him off. He is literally at his. All right, he's good. You ain't Pain in the ass. Face it. Okay. No, no, no. Um, my health's looking fine, but I could do that. Let's go. You first. Damn it, didn't hit the time. Let's get it done. Pistol formation? No, he's moving. That's not gonna work. Quarterback sack? Why not? Show me what you got. Also, he messaged me on the Discord. Come get some. All right. Oh, come on. Enough playing around. Get rid of them. You ain't shit. Damn it, he keeps holding it way longer and I think he's. Ooh, back attack. You're basically dead. Goodbye. There's more, isn't there? Oh, that's not good. Tiddling claws. Let's see what that does. Another round. <laughs> oh. You know what? We already used you. Are you guys weak to? You know what? Let's do it. 50,000. You don't know when to quit. Let's go. You wanna go? You wanna go? Actually, you know what? I don't know when this is gonna end. Go do that. I'll be done with this in a second. <laughs> Oh, suplex. 
I'm trying to finish this. I'm still recording. Oh, it's fine. You, they can't hear you. I, 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 I'm gonna sound like an idiot talking to myself. Who knew I had it in me? Think I'm getting better. Yes, I'm fast. Major story things happening. Oh, now he's getting upset. Lonnie's coming back with us, and akane sans staying right here. As for you, Aichan, you'll be seeing me soon. There's lots of things I need to say to you. Hang tight. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm nothing but trouble. Akane-san, were you hurt? Nah, not a one could make it past me. Fucking ashamed they ever wore my colors. It might still be dangerous here for a while. Who are you talking to? It's been dangerous here from day one. Besides, I'm pretty sure I got all the backup I need. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with you. I screwed up. Lonnie was taken during the attack. So, what's next? She's at Nelly Island, if she's anywhere. Akane-san, no one knows where the place is. Is it possible you two? I'm sorry, I don't. They guard that secret tightly. Even among the devout, it's only the few in the inner circle who are told. Uh, yeah, I understand. No use worrying about it then. We'll find her, no matter what it takes. Now, I just need you to get yourself somewhere safe, okay? <sighs> See you soon. Right. Ready to move? Chill there, Kasuga. Huh? Kane-san, take a few minutes together. <gasps> it's just... Lonnie's still out there, and... You can get back to Lonnie as soon as you do this. Talk to that one now. Talk, while there's still time for talk. <sighs> Mm -hmm. All this time we haven't had a chance to speak. There are things I'd like to say. Uh, me too. Yumai was uh, right about that. Uh, <laughs> Sawashiro-san wrote me letters. I actually know quite a bit about you. Shangri-La's manager took you in as a baby. Kamurocha folks looked after you growing up. <laughs> By middle school, you were a hellion. Fighting must have come naturally to you. Well, wait a sec. Things back then... I, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, hey, if Captain Sawashiro told you all that, does that mean he kept tabs on me as a kid? Hmm. Sawashiro-san always had an eye on you, for my sake. Uh. But then... You called Masumi-san for... Nope, I, I have not yet, because I was uploading mine. I will after. Up one day. <clears throat> Almost like it was fate. I don't know if I believe in fate. 
I'm sure grateful it happened that way, though. Hmm. <laughs> I know what happened to you after all that. They had you take the blame for a murder. <laughs> Eighteen years. So much lost time. gone tough. You've been fighting for so long. No, no, uh, it, it's not how you think. Forgive me. I left you and Master son alone. I was scared and ran away. I'm sorry. With all my heart, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to me, Akane-san. There's nothing to be sorry for. <laughs> of course, I had tough times now and then. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what Captain Sawashiro put me through. <sighs> so yeah, maybe I've had a pretty crazy life, all things considered. <sighs> know what, though? Everyone else has to. Akane-san, we all deal with life as it comes. You did. And I still got to meet you. What more could I ask for? <sighs> like you said, I always had people looking out for me. And the boss was the best father in the world. Honestly, I'm so lucky. Look, um, Akane-san, truth be told, I don't know for sure if you gave birth to me or... Uh, you know what I mean? But if it was you, then I've only got one thing to say. You gave me my life. I'm very grateful. Ichiban. I'm grateful too. Thank you. How strange. What? Just now, I saw Masumi-san standing where you are. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you know that's the best compliment I can imagine, right? Hey, that's right. I remember now. Uh, here, the Kane-san. I came here to give you this. The boss's... Masumi Arakawa's remains. I'd like you to have them. Thank you. Thank you. I've... I've missed you, Masumi-san. Well, that was a touching ending. But it's time to save. Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, and Goro Majima, huh? <laughs> yeah, add Kiru san to the mix, and you've got yourself a Yakuza Hall of Fame. Yeah. Maybe in the sense that we're all retired. So you're going, right? 
To see him, I mean? Yeah. I'm leaving now. Is that a fact? Don't know if you meant this, but, uh, you don't think you're flying solo, do you? Like that, it'd help. Come on now, Kiryu-san. Someone's gotta watch your ass. Not exactly how I'd have worded it, but he's right. We're in this together. Thanks, guys. Gonna be a long trip. Let's make sure we're ready. Ha-ho! Preparations, huh? It's a long trip, so it's probably a good idea to stop. Yeah. Here. Right. Plus, this is the Tojo Clan royalty we're dealing with. You'd never know what'll happen. <sighs> Come on, don't make it sound so ominous. He's right. There's no guarantee of the sons of words. We should be ready for anything. Alright. We have time to stock up, maybe even get some training in. Well, Jinjo's fine, but Kamurocho might be best. Nothing you can't find there. Plus, it's basically Kiryu-san's hometown. Walking those streets again might be good for him. Although, I guess we run the risk of be him being recognized. Maybe. But it's probably the best place for us to prepare. We'll just have to be cautious. If we keep our head down, heads down, it'll be alright. That sells it, then. Let's say we grab a taxi. Alright, so... Oh, gonna be getting a bunch of things for Kiryu. Oh, jeez. A lot of levels. We still going? What classes were I last? Samurai? Linebacker? Okay. I really wish there was a way you could swap between Kiryu and... Um... Swap between Kiryu and uh, Kazuga, so I can go back and do a few things here and there. But oh well, I can adjust my Sujima party from here. I wish I could do the Doki Island from here. All right. Since it's saying prepare, I'm going to do more of these. So it's the yeah, I'm gonna do more of these. Since it sounds like we're about to enter another place of no return, I'd rather get some of these done another the way. So, what do you have for me? Oh, good to see you, Kiryu. Are you set? I'd like to take you somewhere. I assume you're ready to go. Hmm. I'm prepared. Good. As it happens, there are a few familiar faces visiting Eugene's show at the moment. Uh, I suppose that's pure coincidence. Would you believe I didn't invite them? The Seiryu clan did. To prepare for the dissolution, Ebina has been in touch with regional families across Japan. These two have come to answer his call. All the way from Hiroshima. Onomichi, actually. Onomichi. A Yome Alliance subsidiary, the Hirose families Tagashira and Matsunaga, here in Ijinsho right now. Huh. Tagashira. Matsunaga. During my stay in Onomichi, I joined forces with the Hirose family. Oh, we all had to... Uh, we all had to this back on the conflicts around their hometown. They're here to investigate the Seiryu for themselves. Unfortunately, Captain Nagumo couldn't make it. Investigate, you said? If Ebina's dissolution succeeds, every Yakuza group in the country will feel its effects. No matter where they're located, no family can ignore Yokohama right now. So, Tagashira and Matsunaga are here to survey and report back on behalf of the Yome. Wow. They're representing all of Hiroshima, that means. The Hirose family might have started small, but they've been making a name for themselves. Many would credit their old patriarch, Toru, for that. He died doing wet work for the former Yomei chairman. He died loyally. As such, he left behind a family worthy of respect. They report directly to the chairman now. 
which means your boys are officers of the main family. They're trusted with a lot these days. I see. How about that? What's wrong? You've got that look on your face. You don't want to see him? It isn't that. Not exactly. I'm worried how they'd react if they knew I survived. <laughs> Why? Think they'd take it poorly? The Hirose family was small, but they were as tight-knit as any family I've seen. As soon as I entered their lives, that all changed. And Hirose's death was a direct consequence of that. If I'd never set foot in Hiroshima, Tagashira and the others might still have their boss. I never apologized to them. In fact, I took the easy way out by going into hiding. How could I ever show my face to them again? Who said you'd show your face? Hang back, just like with Kazuki and everyone. Hear Tagashira himself say what they think of you. <laughs> Honestly, you should get how this works by now. Maybe so. Remember, Hiroshima is part of your legacy. The last heroic stand of Kazuma Kiryu. Tagashira and Matsunaga saw history made there. Don't you find the prospect intriguing? Hearing their thoughts on your final moments? That's a sad way of putting it. You make it sound like I'm some voyeur. <laughs> Either way, the timing of their Ijincho trip is perfect for us. Don't question serendipity. They're drinking at a bar nearby right now. Let's not miss them. I hate to say those glasses are See them there, yeah, Kiryu? Whatever. Those are your boys. Yeah. It's like they haven't changed at all. Same as when we met. Well, not completely. It's strange seeing them with subordinates of their own. For oh, shit's sake. How long are they gonna make us wait? Came all the way to Yokohama for this? Hmm. They're treating us like dirt here. Supposed to be honored guests. Say Ryu hospitality, my ass. We're Hiroshima dignitaries for crying out loud. Hmm. Doesn't seem like they're in a good mood. Are they that pissed off that a girl hasn't sat down with them yet? Really? Not sure. Hard to tell from just eavesdropping. <laughs> right then. I'll take it from here. Let's get a better look at these big shots, huh? Date-san, what are you doing? The Daidoji faction doesn't own me, in case you've forgotten. I can say hi to whomever I want. Date-san! Damn it. Hmm? And just, who might you be? Tokyo Metropolitan, Detective Makoto Date. Are you too familiar with me? <laughs> we look like guys with lots of cop friends. Go polish your badge. Should warn you, these two pups ain't housebroken. Any closer and they might bite you. Hey, calm down. There's no need to be a prick. The hell? You got your head screwed on wrong? Or you just want to die, old man? Whoa, hold a second to Gashira. Tokyo detective named Date, he said. Kiryu Aniki had a buddy called that, right? Huh? Ah, now that you mention it, it... Wait. So then, what's he doing here? You're Hirose, Tagashira and Matsunaga, correct? Be happy to buy you boys a drink. I'm off duty, not looking to bust anyone. Just want some company, same as you two, from what I can see. Yeah, well, the girls here ain't exactly swarming us. Uh, you sure about this, Aniki? I mean, knocking them back with the fuzz? You heard him. Man's off duty right now. We're just three assholes, no titles, and nothing. This way, we never drank with the enemy team. Yeah, that's what you're saying, right, Dante-san? Yep, couldn't have said it better myself. Well, all right then. Matsunaga Aniki says he can buy his drinks. He can buy his drinks. Good, I appreciate it. <laughs> Dante-san's surprisingly good with people. He knows how to handle the situation. Let me ask you both something. 
You sounded pretty pissed off before. Why was that? It's never just because of the girls. Nah, it wasn't about that. Yokohama's a long trip for us, and we're being treated like hicks. There's ex-Yakuza all over town, and they're eyeing us like we got a disease. The Seiryu clan sure as hell not offering to cut us into anything worth a damn. Why even invite us? Too worried about the wrong profits taking a hit. <laughs> I mean, look around. They're scoping us out from every angle. They all stare, but nobody says as much as hello. Wait a second. You mean everyone here is Yakuza? Eugene shows sure got ex Tojo and Omi guys crawling around like roaches right now. <laughs> We're doing fine for ourselves out west in Hiroshima. Only came by to be courteous. What he means is the Yome Alliance asked us directly, and we followed orders. I wonder, is your table so barren because they're trying to ice you out? Maybe women around here are smart enough not to drink with a couple of small town bumfucks. Say that again, asshole! Whatever it is you're looking for here, you're not gonna find it. So screw off. Oh, whoa, 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 big talk from men that what got dissolved, huh? <laughs> you bastards really want to throw down, huh? Go ahead! Nobody cut our family's balls off! Well, Hiroshima thugs are all tough, right? I'm sure we can take them. Catch the next train home, fuckers! Or we'll punch your ticket for you! Huh? Who the hell's that? Hey, you need to stay back, dammit! Kiryu! Huh? Kiryu, uh, Kiryuin. Kiryuin? Date-san, you know this guy? Kiryuin? Oh, no. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe. Hiroshima dignitaries should know better than to disrespect the cities they visit. This is how blood starts running. What's your deal? We'll handle this from here. Right, Dante Senpai? Yes, of course. This is my junior partner, Kiryuin. Okay, everything's settled. You two leave while you can. <laughs> You're out of your mind. This ain't no one's fight but ours. Damn it, stop. You're in enough crap already. Stay back. Man, good, good job, Dante. That was, uh... Hmm. Hope you're ready. I forgot to change their weapons back, I think. Well, no, I think we're good. Try this on the side. Now I might as well just do see what you can hate. That'll kill a few of them. Follow my lead. Here, all help. Try and stop me. No begging for mercy now. Goodbye. Learning more every day. Moving up in the world. Oh, that reminds me, I have to put the money talisman on these guys. Hell yeah! Yeah! Strong! Man, I forgot how leveled up they are, too. Holy cow. Ooh, this is definitely my strong group. Cure you in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hey, this is a story from back home. Who knew a junior detective could throw haymakers like that? Nah, <laughs> only out here would you find a cop stronger than a Yakuza. <laughs> stronger? Ha! <laughs> He's good, but I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I get it now, though. No wonder Tokyo PD got these city Yakuza and so bad, huh? Right, champ? <laughs> Sorry about him. He doesn't say much. That's a good quality in people. <laughs> Strong and silent. <laughs> Actually, he reminds me of a guy we knew. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was thinking the same thing. Kiryaniki. Same kind of mojo. Oh? Exactly. Something about this quiet son of a gun reminds me so much of him. <laughs> Huh, is that so? I'm not sure. 
After all, I've known Kiryu much longer than you two would have. <laughs> no offense, but he's much cooler than this one. No, you know, you know what? That's a very good point. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Look at guy, sure. Look at this guy. I mean, Kiryaniki was way more badass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably so. <laughs> Although, strange how alike your names are. Kiryu, Kiryuin, right? <laughs> You're pushing it, Dante. Um. <laughs> ah, both names sound tough, I'd say. Except Kazuma Kiryu. Woo! Man, that name's just on another level for us. From the moment we first met him, he redefined what the Yakuza meant. Hmm. That he did. How? What did he do for you? Was it even a change for the better, do you think? Well, that's hard to say. Kiryu Aniki guided us through dark times. Our patriarch Hirose died. So did Chairman Kurusu. Hmm. Onomichi's big secret came out, and it's still getting attention. And then, the man we took as our Aniki got killed. Oh, could have asked him so much more. Just stormed in one day and <laughs> fixed up messes. Like pulling up every rotten weed that sprung since World War II. And now, the police say that Kazuma Kiryu took all the other mysteries with him to his grave. That's got to be a load of bull. They got to know more than they're telling us. Plus, all the big shot politicians who got their asses saved by the cover-up. Those, uh, Daidoji, what do you call them? Of course, they're the reason the Yomei Alliance made us a direct subsidiary. I guess that the Hirose family came out all the better thanks to Kiryu Aniki at the end of the day. Nowadays, we got way more prestige. Uh, the Onomichi locals tease us about it, though. I think that's a good thing. Huh? Wouldn't you agree? But putting all that aside, there's something about the whole thing that still hurts. Yeah, you got that right. What is it, if I may ask? The Hirose family's down to just three proper members between Captain Nagumo and us. Our youngest officer was named Yuta. He's off in Okinawa living his dream life. <laughs> Good for him. But his Yakuza just feels like things are never going to be as good as they were then. Kiryu Aniki inspired us to heights we never imagined ourselves in. Seriously, Kazumu Kiryu's final battle, and we were there to see it. Hiroshima woke up for one big, incredible moment. Then. Went back to being the same old sleepy town as it ever was. Just... empty and tired. <sighs> Helps knowing Patriarch Hirose would have wanted it that way. Plus, he got to spend his last minutes fighting Kazuma Kiryu with everything he had. When he died... It looked like he was at peace. Yeah. I will never forget that. For the old man... Part of it must have been finally not having to do Takeru Kurusu's dirty work anymore. Even still, he was a model Yakuza, and he died a Yakuza's death. <sighs> more and more, I've been getting into dumbass fights like that one. Just looking to cash my chips in. If you two hadn't stopped us, <laughs> we might have died bleeding out in this cheap hostess bar. Now that's a Yakuza's death. Just a red stain on a tacky carpet. A long ways from home. How the hell did it get this bad without us even noticing? Between Hirose-san and Kiryu Aniki, all we talk about anymore is the ones we lost. The same old shit every day, over and over. If they could see us right now, they'd be ashamed. And you know what? It was seeing Kiryu Insan fight just now that made me realize it. Say that again. <laughs> Funny how little things like that can open your eyes. Hmm. What's going on now? Are you leaving? 
I'm still buying. No need to quit early. That's all right. We're headed home. Seiryu clan's been investigated by us enough, I'd say. Right now, all I want is to tell Captain Nagumo everything that happened here tonight. Oh, what will you say to him? That over in Jean Show, we finally met someone Kuriyanaki might have seen something in. Hmm? Now, Cap will never believe us, not in a million years. He'll say we're drunk and stupid. But I'm going to tell him, even if it shouldn't have been possible, I saw what I saw tonight. So did I. Oh. oh, well, that's great. All right, I won't keep you any longer. In that case, let me say one last thing to you both. The Seiryu clan's plot, all these Yakuza massing underneath them, they can't be trusted. Hiroshima needs to stay as far out of this as it can. With respect and all, no shit, detective. That Ebina's a smooth-talking swindler, but the Yomei Alliance ain't dumb enough to fall for it. Hiroshima will steer clear of the conflict. Promise you that. Of course, Kiryu and son. Your advice is appreciated. We're bidding Yokohama farewell now, if that's all right. Okay. Nice meeting you. It's good to see you, Kiryu and son. Maybe I'm crazy, but I get the feeling they might have figured you out. <laughs> Maybe they did. Sheesh. If your boys ended up in that brawl, it could have painted a target on the entire Yomei Alliance. And to avoid getting sucked into war, easiest thing would be to cut off the Hirose family and be done with it. Yeah. That said, it was reckless of you to jump in there. Don't come crying to me if you get busted. Do you think I'm blaming you? I'm very grateful. If not for your initiative, I never would have spoken to those two again. Back in Hiroshima, I made a mess of things. And I left without fixing them. I didn't deserve to know what happened next. But I was always curious. <laughs> and I'm glad we did what we did. Thanks for the drinks. I'll see you again. We'll leave and then we'll need to come back. Good night, Kiryu. That's another link down, and that one was nice. Very nice. Oh. They're ease. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Kiryu's almost level 100 with his bond, and I can have two legendaries on him. Well, a legendary. Including the one for his current class. Alright, now we wait for a phone call. Yeah, let's go this way. Come on, call me Dante. Do I have to charge this? Yeah, we'll charge it. Yeah, I got the wheels! We'll fight them and hope I trigger something. I'm ready. Hope you're ready. Really? No. Good job, now, Bob. You're weak. I'm no more. I would use that. But I need higher agility. Try this on the side. Oh, I did not time that. Hear you? Hear you? Oh, okay. Oh, 
No. Charm. You are getting. What are you getting? I'll give you that. And then you. I'm not sure. I'll just give you these for now. Are you gonna trigger Dante or are we done? I think he's done for now. Or I'll teleport farther away. But I want to go on the. Oops, not what I wanted. I wanted to go on the survive real quick. Oh. Uh. If I remember correctly, give me a second. Everyone's on this team ready. Yep, 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 and yeah. Alright. Press those bones. Alright, yep. Oh wait, this is this is a side quest. It's good to see you, Suzuki-san. Mm, thanks. All right, if I stop in. No need to ask. You're always welcome here, friend. Hmm. As long as he's called me Suzuki-san, that's who I'm supposed to be. Ah, oh, darn it. Text. Why you move so fast? Sir, is there something on my face? Uh, no, of course not. I apologize. <laughs> Just a little joke I have. After all, there's always something on my face. The scar? Can I ask, have you been in Yokohama a long time? Well, now, I haven't kept count. Must be over a decade at this point. Huh. That is quite a while. One more question, sorry. Um, do you happen to have a favorite food? Hmm. Good question. Why do you ask? Cold noodles. Any chance you're uh, partial to them? Guilty as charged. I do fancy a bowl now and again, yes. It's just... I once knew someone who preferred them as well. He was practically an older brother to me. And you bear such a striking resemblance to him. I couldn't help thinking that, maybe. Hmm. Forgive me. This isn't your concern. Nonsense, sir. So long as I'm proprietor, my customers' concerns are my own. <laughs> Makes me feel a bit better to hear that. Suzuki-san. I get the sense you've endured some hardships. Enough time spent behind a bar, you can read most by their face alone. Then tell me, bartender. What do I have on my face? You were always strong. So you never learned to ask for help. And too few know when you've been hurt. That's the impression I get, anyway. I see. 
I'm joking again. That's how almost every man starts seeing himself past middle age. Especially the ones with such worn and chiseled faces. <laughs> Sounds like that must apply to you, too. Ah. Before I came to own this place, I also lived in a world with no room for weakness. Mm hmm? Forget it. It's not important. Whatever you say. Let me put it like this. I was raised believing that vulnerability was the enemy of survival. I carried that dogma with me for too long. Is it the same for you, perhaps, Suzuki-san? Are you saying your outlooks changed since then? I accept help when offered now, to one degree or another, while trying to give those around me whatever help I can. And I'm content with how things are. Maybe that's what it means to have a real home. And to do more with life than just survive it. That's an admirable point of view. You've fought so many battles and loved so many people. Maybe all that's left of you are your scars. How could anyone call this a just world when men like you can't be promised a good, proud ending? <laughs> Come on. I already know you say that to all the guys. I'm saying it to you. Saying it as someone who's found a happiness here that I worry you never could. Again and again, you've been denied peace and rest. You've been denied something as precious as your name itself. But right now, for this one moment, you have people willing to help you if you ask them to. After all the tragic mistakes, their camaraderie is what proves you're still a noble man. Hey, uh, is it just me, or are they staring at us right now? The bartender's never usually so chatty. <laughs> Wonder what they're saying. I can't simply tell you to embrace vulnerability, but try depending on them while you can. After all, you're getting up there in years. <laughs> you're almost too big to be told what to do. It's uncanny. You're so much like him, bartender. My old Aniki in another life. May I say, sir, that if the day does come when you're able to take back your name, I'd like to see you then. We'll speak frankly. Neither of us will have anything left to hide. I'll pour you a drink worthy of yourself that day. On the house. Naturally. For what it's worth, I liked this drink, too. I think I should go. Thank you for the conversation, bartender. <laughs> the pleasure was mine, friend. Always happy to help. Appreciate it. So long. Now you know why it's called Survive. <laughs> Names are such powerful things. Hmm. That was nice. Wait, what? He's a pound mate? Oh no. I want to use you immediately, but I will wait until I absolutely have to. All right, I'm going to teleport. Right, well, actually, give me a second. Let's see if there's any more cyclists to pop. Dope. Because I'm keeping all of them in check right now. Okay, no. I'm going to teleport to Julie's gear work, so I'm not making anything. I'm just seeing if I can trigger an event. I want to see if Dante calls me, because I know I still have a few things. Yeah, let me see. Don't know if that bucket list, life links. Yeah, wait for a call. So, yep, just waiting. Actually, let's see what I can do. No, no, no. Also, the weapon I was talking about the other day is this. Look at that weapon. I need a lot more of those, though. I could almost make this, though. I just need the shark fin. Oh, I can get a super alloy bat, too. Oh, man, that is nice. I got enough money in the game. Maybe I should go to the weapon shops and buy some weapons. Let's see, I already 
point there. I don't need there. Uh, we'll go with Zhao Long. Yeah, we'll go to Zhao Long. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna buy some weapons. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna buy some weapons. You do not need to see me do this. I'm gonna run around until I get both Dante. So, I'm gonna pause it here. Literally, as soon as I paused it. <laughs> Hello? Dante here, Kiryu. If you have time, come to Harbor Light, will you? Sure, understood. I'll be there. I kid you not. I kid you not. As soon as I hit the pause button on my OBS, I'd be like, oh, okay. I'm gonna run around and grab a bunch of weapons. He immediately follows me. While I'm here, let me check the weapon shop. I'm ready to kick ass. Well, that's good. Alright, I got you. I can also get you. I don't think I need the antique. Alright. Uh, we have a wasteland revolver. I think that's the one that's equipped. Um, I'm very tempted to buy these. Um... Give me a second. I do not have that one. I think an antique one. I'll buy it, but I think I know which one the antique was. Alright, let's go back to Dante. Also... No... I can give you a protector, Marrow. I don't need to get you anything, and then I don't need to get you anything. Oh wait, you're still missing something. Um, why not? All right, who are we meeting now? Oh, good to see. You. I assume you're ready. Our guest this time came all the way from Kyushu, Chief Nakajima of Nagasu Taxi. Chief Nakajima. He looked after you during your stint as a cab driver back in Fukuoka, didn't he? Ten years ago, Chief Noko... Uh, oh, I never told him my real name even after I left. I knew he would do that and never... Hey, what's up? Oh, okay. You remember him, right? Don't tell me I wasted my time calling him here. You didn't. Besides, I wouldn't be that ungrateful. It's just... I never thought I'd see him again. Chief Nakajima was about the only civilian I spent a lot of time with. You tried running from your past back then, too, didn't you? Even went by the alias Taichi, Suzuki, and everything. Trouble always finds you somehow. In the past, and even now. You said you called a chief here? How was he? He must be getting along in years now. Did he seem well? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you go see for yourself? What? Did something bad happen to him? Hmm. Uh-oh. Alzheimer's? Oh. Oh, good heavens. I can't drink that much. <laughs> Well, ain't this a pickle? Oh, come on, Mr. Chief. Don't be shy. Today's a special treat, isn't it? Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> Speaking of which, Date's son's not here yet. W I wonder what's taking him. This ain't a scam, right? You're not gonna rip me off. Don't worry. Date's son gave me a rundown. That man's a real detective, you know. Date's son. What was with that ominous look earlier? <laughs> well, as you can see, he's doing great. 
Figured it'd make you appreciate the reunion uh, more. Okay. Cab company's not exactly doing well. But the chief does everything he can to keep it going. That's great. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thought so. Wait. Date-san, you've never met Chief Nakajima before, right? How did you even get him to come all the way here? Well, I might have abused a bit of my police authority. Told him that I wanted to ask him about his former employee, Taichi Suzuki. What? Also told him it was a personal investigation, and that we couldn't talk over the phone since the higher-ups don't know about it. I asked if he could come to Yokohama instead. You do know how suspicious that sounds, right? I'm surprised the chief fell for that. I offered to cover his travel expenses, so it's basically a paid vacation. How much money does Dante have? He's been paying for hostesses, drinks for everybody, trips. Man, he is reaching into his bank account just to bring Kiryu a little happiness and closure in his life. Vacation. His drinks at this club are even on me. Oh, don't give me that look, man. What? I was just worried about you. You're always coming up with all these lies for me. I thought I told you this before. I'm only doing all this because I want to. Don't sweat it. Ten years ago, he told me himself to come back and work for him again, no matter what. He gave me a hand when I hit rock bottom, and I was never able to thank him for that. Got it. Guess it'll be on me to tell him all of that. <laughs> this place sure is a riot. Hey, maybe I ought to move to Yokohama myself. I wouldn't have. Oh, wow, would you really? Then you could come visit me every day. I'll be here waiting. <laughs> Boy, I do that and I'll be broke in no time. Oh, pleasure meeting you, Chief Nakajima. I'm Date. Been enjoying yourself? Oh, gosh darn it, I'm sorry. Got a little carried away there. Nearly forgot I was meeting up with you, Mr. Detective. No need for the formalities. Thanks for coming all the way here. Mind if I take a seat? Oh, no, not at all. Please do. Still, to think Suzuki-san's name would come up again. But like I told you on the phone, the last I saw Suzuki-san was ten years ago. How's that even gonna help the police? Well, truth be told, I knew Suzuki personally outside my work as a detective. Honestly, I just wanted to have a drink with someone else who knew him. Sorry for making a fuss out of this, Chief. Oh, no, no, it's fine. You even paid for me to travel here at all. Besides, I feel the same way about Suzuki-san. Wasn't one for words, but I could never forget him. Just that kind of fella, you know. So what happened? Did Suzuki-san cause some kind of incident? He ain't getting arrested, is he? Huh? No, I'm not going to arrest him. See, Suzuki's been dead for a few years now. Huh? Come again? You ain't pulling my leg or nothing. You didn't know? No, not at all. I had no clue. So that's what happened to Suzuki-san? I can't believe my ears. He was always so serious, a real dedicated fella. Hey, something doesn't seem to be adding up here. Just double-checking. You were aware that Taichi Suzuki was a fake name, right? A fake name? Nah, ain't no way. That doesn't sound right, no sorry. Uh-huh. That's strange. I'm sure I told him I was using a fake name, and that was former Yakuza from the Tojo clan. Did you forget that, Chief? Okay, then. Why don't you settle down and hear me out? Taichi Suzuki was a fake name. His real name was Kazumu Kiryu, a Yakuza from the Tojo clan known as the Dragon of Dojima. You're talking about the same Suzuki-san? Ah, that's gotta be a lie. Some big mistake. You ever consider that the Suzuki-san I know and the Suzuki-san you know are two different people? Fine, then. So that's how you want to play. Then explain this. Take a good look at this photo. This guy looks real familiar, doesn't he? Perhaps you've seen this on TV before. You're looking at Kazuma Kiryu. 
Shortly after this footage aired, he was sent to prison, then lost his life in Hiroshima. Frankly, that don't sound like the Suzuki son I know. What? Really? Chief Nag uh, is probably playing dumb by pretending he doesn't know me. You got the right idea, letting the police know that he isn't involved in me. Oh. Why do I dry? Guess I should have looked into your story more carefully before coming all the way out here. If I had known we were talking about two different people, I wouldn't have let you pay for my whole trip. Now hold on, sir. What's with the act? Huh? We both know for a fact that Kiryu went by Suzuki in Kyushu. So why are you pretending you don't know him? Well, I ain't pretending. There was just a little mix-up. Sorry, my mistake. I'll even pay for my own drinks, too. Take care now! No, wait. Please. I think we're done here. Besides, I ought to get going. Let go! What has gotten into you? Nothing. You're just being a bother. Wait, please. Hey, stop right there, sir. Ooh, what's going on? Why all the yelling? Just let him go, touch the dust. Damn it. How can I let him go? Judging know? by the way you wanted to run from me, I think I get what's going on. Huh? What about? You probably did come here to talk about Tai Chi Suzuki, and maybe squeeze in some sightseeing on the side. But with how you're acting, I'm guessing you saw this recently. Oh, that's, uh... Your plans changed when this video started going around. Suddenly, rumors that Kazuma Kiryu is still alive and kicking spread all over the internet, despite his supposed death. Word got to you too, didn't it? Right after you agreed to meet with me here. I don't know a thing about that. What's going on? If Kazuma Kiryu really is alive and in hiding, then you wouldn't want to tip off the police. Even a minor detail about his past runs the risk of endangering him. Long story short, you don't want to sell your friend out to the police. But after coming all the way to Yokohama, it looked just as suspicious to cancel our meeting. Uh... It all makes sense now. That's why you're trying to act like you don't know Kazuma Kiryu. You got the wrong idea. That's completely off. Where you're coming from, you probably aren't too sure if I really am Kiryu's friend. In that case, it'd be best for you to say I've got the wrong guy. Keep mum and leave your seat. Uh, um, <clears throat> Chief Nakajima, this has all been one huge misunderstanding. Huh? Neither Tokyo PD nor the Fukuoka police knew that Kiryu had been employed at Nagasu Taxi. Have you ever gotten a call from the police asking after him? I'm positive you haven't, because I'm the only one who knows about your connection to Kiryu. After all, I heard all of this from the man himself. In fact, he even told me about the first time you two met. He helped out a woman who was being harassed, but let himself get beat up in the process. At the time, he had nowhere to go since he had to cover up his history with the Akaza. He nearly gave up on life. That's when you entered the picture. You took him on and hired him as a taxi driver. That guy's known as the legendary Yakuza. You think he'd crack in the interrogation room? I heard all of this straight from the horse's mouth. I may not know what's going on in his head, but I consider him my best friend. Date-san. Hmm. Well, that sure explains a whole lot. Guess it can't hurt to trust you then. <laughs> How about we turn back the clock? Start fresh, take it from the top. <laughs> Works for me. Stop this on truly is a veteran who managed to assess the entire situation. God damn it. I found out that Suzuki san was actually Kazuma Kiryu from the news. Saw him in that Yakuza scuffle up in Kamarocho. Must have been a little while after he left our place. All his old co-workers were pretty shaken up, me included. Sure, I knew he was no run-of-the-mill guy, but I never thought he'd be THE legendary Yakuza. Also, just between us, 
A lot of my employees are hiding scars because of something or other in the past. Same goes for me, too. So I was never, ever gonna rat out Kiryu-san to the police. But the moment I told myself that, news got out about Kazuma Kiryu dying somewhere in Hiroshima. That must have been shocking. Of course it was. But now... What the heck even was that video? I can't make heads or tails of nothing no more. You know something, don't you, Date-san? Is Kazuma Kiryu... Is Suzuki-san still alive? Please, Date-san. Well, I guess it wouldn't be right if I just lied to your face after unraveling all that, so... I'm just gonna say... No comment. No comment? Hmm. Read between <laughs> the lines. That's not enough for you? <laughs> That's great. Real great. Just what I needed to hear. You know, you're a lot like Suzuki-san. No tact, no skill of lying, and a good man. This coming from you, you're just as bad at lying. <laughs> you got me there. After getting to know you, Chief, I think I get why he wanted me to pass on a message. Huh? When the two of you first met, he had just drifted all the way to Kyushu in order to protect his loved ones from his own past. That was the lowest point in Kiryu's life. In a place with no one he knew, with no one to turn to, with no one to talk to or depend on, until you showed up and lent him the hand he needed. Mm-hmm. Words can't describe how indebted he feels to you. Still does, to this day. Ha, that's so. And I got something to say to him, too. And what's that? The last time I saw Suzuki-san, I left him with these words. You're part of the family now, Suzuki-san. Just be sure to come back to us, no matter what. Hmm. I still stand by those words today. So if you ever find yourself in trouble, you'll always have a home with us. I'll be waiting for you back in Kyushu. So just remember, you're never alone. Think you could tell him all that from me, Date-san? <laughs> Thanks again, Date-san. Got to wrap up some unfinished business there. Now the Chief finally knows how much I appreciated him. There's nothing more I can do now. Come on, don't be like that. All oh, right, that reminds me. You said I was your best friend? No, uh, I, I mean, I was just trying to, uh, you know, earn the Chief's trust. I had to. Your words really cut me to the core. They were comforting in a way. Especially in these times. Could you... not take back what you said? Yeah, of course. Hey, you wanna hug it out? <laughs> I'm not drunk enough for that. Yeah, figured. That's a nice one. Oh, all right. I think in with what happens over time, each of these links, they're gonna know Kiryu's around. Wait for a call for Dante. <sighs> Here we go again. But I think in their own way, they're gonna learn he's around, alive in a way, doing his thing. And I think it's nice. Have, don't have. Um, you don't have the thing I was looking to look for. Um. Arigato. Nah, see if they had any baseball bats, but they're probably all, you know. I can go there.
I would pause, but last time I did that, he immediately called me, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna run. There it is. Hello? Dante here, Kiryu. If you have time, come to Harbor Light, will you? Sure, understood. I'll be there. Yeah. Something the matter? No, I just figured maybe I ought to give you a heads up first. Oh. See, Sayama's in town. Sayama? Kaoru Sayama? The one and only. She gave me a call not too long ago. You up for it? <sighs> yeah, thought so. But honestly, you should go. You guys went through thick and thin together, right? At least you could do is see how she's doing. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for dumping this on you. I didn't know till just now either. So, mind cutting me some slack? Actually, I appreciate it. See you later then. Is there anything here? Well, there's a secret long sword, but no. I can also buy the Kiji short sword, but yeah. I could buy that. It's tempting. Alright, let's go. Dante is waiting for us. We're doing memories today. Lots and lots of memories. On top of the previous chapter I completed with, you know, Ichiban. Honestly, so far, out of all those memories, that last one was my favorite. Oh. Let's do this. Hey, Kiryu, are you ready? Oh, good to see you, Kiryu. I assume you're... Hmm. Great. When I moved to Okinawa, so that'd be... All right. A little over 15 years now. We first met in 2006. To think it's been 17 years. Kaoru Sayama, a former detective in the Osaka police, and the ace of Division 4, the Anti-Yakuza Task Force. We partnered together for a certain incident regarding the Tojo clan. And then... As the bomb kept ticking down, I decided to spend the last moments of my life with this incredible woman. Damn, 15 years? I haven't seen her for a while either, but nowhere near as long as that. Earlier, she said she's here on business, asked me if I wanted to catch up and all. I'm something of a big shot at work, you know. What's with the big talk? <laughs> Nobody else would listen to me brag. Well... It might have been 15 years, but Sayama's as sharp as ever. There's a chance she'll spot you at a distance, so we better play it safe. I don't know. There is also a chance she's forgotten all about me. You're hopeless. Here, take these. Wireless earphones and mic. We usually use them during investigations, but I'll loan these to you. That way, you can listen in on the conversation, and I'll be able to hear what you have to say, too. Come on, let's get moving. Oh, right. This is the character from Yakuza 2, if I remember correctly. And she just disappears. And it's kind of a love interest with Kiryu. I'm shocked you're seeing her again. Oh my god, a hat. Uh. Oh wow, she looks basically the same. She hasn't changed one bit. You look busy, as usual. How long are you here for? <laughs> I'll be leaving the day after tomorrow. How's Tommy Osan doing? She's great. Mama's been manning the bar every night. I think she's doing even better than me. Glad to hear it. Best you spend time with family while you can. That's certainly true. But still, it's been a long time. About six, seven years or so, right? 
The last time we spoke was when you called me about Kazuma's passing, I believe. Right. Sorry for dropping that bombshell back then. It's fine. I'm sure I would have heard about it sooner or later. After all, he was quite infamous among the police. <laughs> no kidding. His name always popped up whenever something big happened. You got any guys that buy into the whole Kazuma Kiryu hidden mastermind conspiracy? We do, yes. Kazuma Kiryu is actually still alive. He's been pulling the strings behind society as we speak. Hmm. Those rumors, right? <laughs> what kind of officer would say that? It's complete nonsense. Well, guess that means his legacy was that impactful. Can't blame folks for making him into some urban legend, especially if they never knew him. I suppose so. <sighs> but to think he's gone, even now, I still can't fathom it. <sighs> How can someone as tough as him just die? How? When I've seen him cheat death time after time. Unbelievable, right? He was one stubborn son of a gun. He really was. Still married to the job? Pretty much. Heard you transferred to the juvenile division. That was news to me. Shocking, right? Some career path. But you requested to transfer, right? There a reason for that? There is, actually. It's all because of the dissolution. The Great Dissolution? Yeah. Remember how Daigo Dojima and other big names started a security company after all that went down? It was a haven for former Yakuza. Right. I figured if Kazuma were still alive, he would have lent them a hand. That man is practically the icon of the old Yakuza and all. I'm sure he would have taken it upon himself to clean up after them, too. Hmm. And if they were in charge of the cleanup, then as a cop, I could work on prevention. At least that's what I thought. In other words, you're trying to prevent kids from becoming petty criminals or joining the Yakuza. Hence the transfer. Right you are. It's tougher than I thought, but it's rewarding work. And that way you could feel connected to Kiryu. <laughs> that's one way to put it. I wanted to sound cool, that is. But yeah, that's why I'm bent on pursuing my new dreams. And that's why I want to keep doing what I can, but... Maybe a part of me is still waiting for him. Hmm. <sighs> Aren't I just so faithful? <sighs> Sayama, look, the truth is... Don't, Dante-san. Uh, it's fine. <sighs> Something wrong? Uh, no, you're just... You're just way too good for him. Thanks for that, Date-san. Seems I was a luckier man than I thought. Seriously? You're telling me. You sure you don't want to tell her anything? I'm sure. As long as she's got a dream to chase, she's better off without me around. That's the hardest pill to swallow. But you know what, Kiryu? What? You should live how you want to. If there's a woman you love, you... I'm getting jealous, just look. Wait, what? Wait, he just did it. Dante just had a brain... Dante, he just had a stroke. Dante, are you okay? You just... Okay? He at you. <laughs> I guess you'd know best, considering you've gone through a divorce before. What? Low blow, man. Sorry. It was just a joke. Thanks, Date-san. <laughs> a real heartbreaker, aren't you? But I meant it. Yeah, every word. Just do what you want to do. You've got tons of folks on your side, supporting you. 
And don't you forget that. I won't. Are we not going to talk about how Dante kind of had a stroke there? No? Okay. Alright. We're almost... Oh, jeez. She's a pound mate? Ooh, that's right. I have two new pound mates. I'm really interested in using one, not going to lie. I want to use the bartender first. Bucket list. Wait for... It is daytime. Would you call this daytime? I call it daytime. What would I call this if it wasn't daytime? Let's go to the park. I'll give him a couple minutes. If he doesn't call, we'll head to Kamurocho. Actually, I'll probably end it. It's coming up on time soon. I knew it. Hello? Dante here, Kiryu. If you have time, come to Harbor Light, will you? Sure, understood. I'll be there. And the next one, since this one specified daytime, will probably be nighttime if I'm guessing. After this one, I don't know if I'll be able to do the last link. I'll call it. There you are, Kiryu. Got some interesting news on my end. I take a while. You good on time? Yeah. Yeah, I've got time. Okay, why do I keep your Discord ping? Well, I'll give it to you straight. It's about Akiyama. Akiyama. Oh, Akiyama. Sky Finance. He hasn't heard him from him for a while. I take it you heard something? I did. Seems he'd made his way out of Japan. Right about when the Tojo clan and Omi Alliance disbanded. So, that would be about four years ago. And what? That's it? For now, I tried finding him through all my contacts, but the man's a slippery one. Now, this is rumor-level intel here, but supposedly, he's been sighted in Singapore a few times. Heading, too, since they rake in investments from all over. A guy like him would feel right at home. Well, he's been out of town this long. Any chance he'd even come back? Every time we met, he'd doubt me like no tomorrow. Kept saying you just had to be alive. He even guessed I was in on it at one point. But after I kept playing it off, I guess he got fed up. I mean, we're the ones who distanced ourselves from Akiyama. The Daidoji had us promise that, no exceptions. Yeah, I know. Can't exactly fault him for taking off like that. I'm at least glad to know he's doing well. It was always a risk, meeting with him. Man might act like a goof, but he's sharp as a tack. The moment you got close enough to listen in, he'd have sniffed you out. If that happened, you can bet the Daidoji would act real fast. Right. Guess it's time we call it, then. You've done more than enough, Date-san. Taichi, Kazuki, Yuya. You even got in touch with Sayama. Hang on. I didn't call you out here to close up shop. Rather, how would you feel about taking it a step further? Hmm? What do you mean? Let's be frank. Daidoji doesn't care who you see. At least, I don't think. That's fair to assume, right? I mean, you haven't gotten any complaints, have you? Hmm, guess not. That means either they haven't noticed what we're doing, or they're letting us get away with it. A or B, I say we go all in, and get in touch with who you want to see oh, most. Oh, we're actually going to see her. If I had to guess, yep. that'd be Haruka. Ooh, you it? declared yourself a dead man, and all but disappeared. That's the promise you made with the Daidoji. If you went and broke that promise, well, I can't imagine it end well for you. But still, 
Wait, Date-san. Hmm? What's up? Oh, this is different. When this place gets so quiet, I don't even hear anyone outside. So what's the deal? They with the Daidoji? Nah, never seen them before. Tell you one thing though. They definitely didn't come here for a drink. I'm what's not... wrong? You wanted to fight? Well, here I am. Come on! Wasn't expecting a fight out of nowhere. Hey, Dante's in the back. Oh, you're ready. oh, I was hoping he was... Assisting. Right there. Follow my lead. Now, what is the deal with this? Who are these guys? Any idea? Huh. They're definitely not any old thugs. In fact, they moved like pros. Oh god, there's an assassin come behind us. Watch it! Oh wait, no, there actually is an assassin coming up behind us. Right. Guess they're not done yet. Oh, he found hmm. us. Wait, you're... The fellas you took down here, they're a group of Liumong boys called the White Masks. They'll work for anyone who pays them. Need some skulls cracked? They're there to please. Well, he... He got... He fished out Kiryu. He knows it. Hang on. Just what are you... Akiyama? Not every day someone holds their own against White Masks, let alone this many. And after seeing you fight, there's no mistaking it. Do me a favor and be up front, eh? Kiryu san? <sighs> Still with the cold shoulder routine. All these years, and you can't bend a little? Wait, so you mean this whole setup was you? Sure was. Every time I asked Date san about you, he'd give me the same crap about you being dead. No doubt he'd keep that up if I hadn't caught you red-handed, hmm? But that's just... you can't... Oh, so you would have been honest with me this time around? Well, uh, I... See? There he goes again. <laughs> yep, Akiyama, what I the expected hell? that. <laughs> you must really think I'm stupid! Both of you! For all the secrecy, it was pretty obvious. No way in hell you'd die that easily. I'm shocked he punched them. He's a kicker. But again, this one's more personal. <laughs> and sure enough, right when the Tojo and Omi disbanded, I got word that old six feet under Kiryu made a surprise visit. <laughs> I figured for sure things must have cooled down by then. <sighs> but nope, that was all she wrote. Kazuma Kiryu's glorious return fizzled out like some urban legend. Not even a word my way either. I guess I didn't matter since I'm not part of your little gang. Then, why are you here today? 
How'd you know where we were? I asked a buddy to keep tabs on everything. Trail Date-san and see if maybe anything's changed. Date-san was the key. Surely he'd find a way to get in contact with Kiryu-san. <laughs> Lo and behold, just the other day, I hear old Date's been frequenting a certain bar out in Ijincho. All I had to do was come back to Japan, play my cards right, and poof. Here I am, and there you are. So, with that out of the way, maybe it's time you explained yourself. And just what is it you want me to tell you? Why I had to become a ghost? I'll take anything so long as it's good. You and your pal here are done playing me for a fool. Hmm. Hey, maybe give it up, Kiryu. I'd rather not get slugged by Akiyama again. <laughs> I ain't apologizing yet, by the way. I'm still ready to kick you across the street. Hey now, not funny. Those poor white masks. <laughs> Just on the ground. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you everything. Looks like you finally won, Akiyama. So that's it then. That's the story. So what, Kiryu-san? You made a pact with this Daidoji faction to protect Haruka-chan and Haruto-kun? I did. I needed to be dead to the world, and I had to keep silent to make good on my word. Date-san was there when I made that promise. I made him my sole witness. It was my fault he couldn't tell you all this time. You want to blame someone? Blame me. Like I even could after all that. Especially not now that I know you're dying. Sorry. You know, it doesn't matter who I tell. They always start treating me nice. Oh, brother. And you just had to lay it on me, huh? So what you been up to, Akiyama? You snuck away from Kamurocho without so much as a peep. <laughs> well, as you know, I get smitten pretty easily. Before I knew it, I chased some girl way out the country. Thanks to that, however, I got to take it easy. <laughs> Almost feel guilty now, what with how rough you guys have had it. Yeah, well, I heard you left at a good time. Got out just as the Tojo clan disbanded. Right around then, the governor enacted his Kamurocho 3K plan. Anyone operating even an inch outside the law got shut down. Knowing you, that must have thrown a wrench your way. I'm sure the police came knocking, yeah? Hey, if you knew, you could have at least thrown me a bone, huh? The money I handled mostly comes from gray zones, so I had to spread it across the globe to keep it safe. Right, and then you ended up in Singapore. Wait, what? Singapore? Who said anything about that? Huh? Was that wrong? <laughs> wrong as can be. But it's not like I tell you the truth either way. Of <laughs> course not. We had our secrets, and now Akiyama's returning the favor. You wouldn't be that stingy, would you? Sure I would. I'm a moneylender, remember? Let's not forget he still sick the Liumang after us, too. You know, I should file a complaint to Sun He. Tell her boys they ought to check their target next time. Right. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> all in all, I get there wasn't much you could do, given the circumstances. But how long have we known each other? We've taken on countless Yakuza and been through the ringer how many times now? If you're wondering whether I was cool with being left out, the answer's no. Didn't you just say you get it? Look, point is, you didn't even ask me for help. No, you went off to carry that weight all by yourself. Buddy, that's just plain lame. Anyhow, I won't go blaming you. On the contrary, I'm gonna help you see things through. Hmm? This might have started off as some Daidoji deal, Kiryu-san. But I'm gonna guess you're in deep again. Yep. Huh. Fat chance I'll just sit back and ignore that. I appreciate it, but if you get involved, I promise to the Daidoji's as good as empty. Right, the pact you made. And what? 
You just stick to the shadows the rest of your life? Was there really no other way? There might have been. But things back then were... Let's just say they were pretty dire. Hey, well... I sure have never lived life as a dead man, far as I'm aware. Still, I can only imagine how lonely you feel. You can't see Haruka-chan or Haruto-kun, can you? That's the idea. Hey now, Kiryu. What'd I tell you earlier? The Daidoji might give you a pass, even to see Haruka. Even if it's just a quick glance. It's great you're keeping your promise, but is it worth it? You don't have much time left. I know. That's why I can't do it. What? So what if I do meet with Haruka now? Before long, I'll just be gone from her life again. They'd have to watch me die a second time. Some good that do. You sure about that? Hmm? Meeting today? Seeing you again after so long? It's like whatever I had pent up inside just disappeared. For my money, I can't see myself regretting this one bit. You changed my life, Kiryu-san. I don't know where or who I'd be if not for you. You gave me a chance when I was at rock bottom. Of course, you didn't exactly know it then. Right as I'm giving up, I learn about this guy. Some hard-headed lunatic in the same town, who kept fighting no matter what he was up against. You're more than you realize, Kiryu-san. It wasn't just opportunity. It was more than some chance. You gave me the courage to keep on living. You made a difference. And because of that, I did all I could to find you. You're a special person to me, believe it or not. And really, I'll bet Haruka-chan feels it even more. Come off it, Akiyama. I'm nothing special, and you know it. You believe that? If I see her again, if I see Haruka, death might actually become scary. Who knows, maybe I'm just a coward. I wouldn't go that far, Kiryu. So the Dragon of Dojima has something he fears after all. <laughs> Feel a lot better about myself, honestly. Great. <laughs> Always something to say. You really are sharp as a tack. <laughs> An honor coming from you. Well, I'd say that settles it then, Kiryu. Hmm? Next time we do this, I'm bringing Haruka in. She might even have Haruto with her. You're not serious. You think I'd say so otherwise? <laughs> Seeing you in a whole new light, Date-san. Let me know if there's anything I can do. A new light, huh? Well, anyway, let's toast. Bury the hatchet, good and deep. Now we're talking. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> yeah, for now. Oh, this is nice. I also like him as a playable character. His kick combos are really good. But yeah, I have a feeling she'd be the last one. I got a feeling I won't be able to do... Oh my god, I'm just getting pound mates today. I mean, Akiyama, I got a feeling, is going to kick ass. Now, let me see. Oh my god, I can do it. I can do it. Ooh. And I'm almost done with these, too. I'm going to finish these, these. I'm not going to really worry about the unfinished business. Because that's a bit much. Oh wow, I've taken 124 cabs in the game. I'm about to finish the Awakenings, I'm getting there. I might be able to finish these with no problem, but I'm not gonna finish all these. I'm not gonna worry about too much. I'll finish, so this one was okay. That was nice. Those are, that was a decent one. That one, I actually liked a lot more than I thought I would, but this one, just the way they were talking about him. Honestly, is my favorite. Then hers was shocking. Then, of course, good old Akiyama. 
Oh my god, I forgot that I, uh, I, uh, Ichiban has dating apps on this phone. There are so many things in this game I've forgotten. But until then, I will probably do that next time, because I am, ooh, a bit over time, I think. Eh, a little over time, oh well, it's like, yeah, but until next time, we're gonna meet Haruka and Haruta, or Haruta. But until then, bye.